Welcome. Welcome to this second talk on fully rough turbulent flow in pipes on man made channels. In 1933, Nikuradze published this graph on a wheel, in particular, look on the bottom right graph showing velocity distribution in fully rough turbulent pipe flow. What is a fully rough turbulent flow? First of all, it's a turbulent flow characterized by an unpredictable quasi-random motion with broad round rough forever on time on n scale on strong mixing properties, typically observed when the Reynolds number is greater than 3,000 to 10,000. Fully rough turbulent flow correspond to flow for which the flow results on the velocity distributions are function of the relative boundary roughness only with no effect of the Reynolds number. Example of fully rough turbulent flow are this channel on the left with natural river pebbles. And on the right, these open channels with artificial roughness introduced to facilitate upstream fish passage in culverts. Nikuradze presented this velocity distribution with this graph showing the dimensionless streamwise velocity as a function of distance perpendicular to the wall. Experiments at Göttingham University under the supervision of Ludwig Prandl. The experiments were performed with water in fully developed pipe flow with internal diameter between 24 to 99 millimeters using uniformly distributed sound grain size between 0.1 millimeter to 1.6 millimeter. This data set was controversial in the 1950s to 1990s, but today is very well respected. The original graph of Nikuradze shown here were presented together with a correlation showing a logarithmic law of the velocity distribution across the entire pipe cross section. A reanalysis of the data of Nikuradze are shown here for wide range of relative roughness and compare with a theoretical expression derived by Prandtl in 1935. The data of Nikuradze can also be matched closely with a power law valid across the entire cross section in which the exponent of the power law is itself a function of the relative roughness, right? shown on the bottom right with an additional data set coming from a super pipe data. Altogether, we can find in the literature three different types of velocity distribution, a logarithmic law, a power law, and an outer law, shown on all on the right. They correspond to different extent, in particular between the logarithmic profile and the outer law, but they tend to have relatively small difference between the log and the power law in the overlap region and sometimes in the outer region. Let's acknowledge the massive contribution of German scientists under the supervision of Ludwig Prandtl, including his former PhD student, Johann Nikuradze, and Theodor von Kermann. To summarize, fully rough turbulent flow are turbulent flow for which the so velocity distributions are function of the relative roughness only. On the velocity profile in fully rough turbulent flow, follow closely a logarithmic profile on a power law. Relevant references. Thank you very much. <laughs>